to start by saying how much I love your show Thank and you. how Hi. thankful I am to Jeff. For Uncle Jeff for saving it. <laughs> JP! Right. I'm, I, a big thank you to Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank, Jeff. thank, thank you, Jeff. Amazon. Yes. Uh, really, sincerely, thank you. Um, so, uh, there, I have so many questions, but listen, you guys have wrapped on filming the next season. We have. Yes. I know you have your media points that you've been trained. What are you What are you actually allowed to comes. say about the... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try it. Right. That's why I'm sitting here to keep you in check. Right. I don't. I actually, like, legitimately, I don't want to know specifics, but, no, seriously, I'm a fan. I want to see yeah, what yeah, actually yeah. happens. Have, yeah, what do you yeah. want to know? I, no, I want to know, like, you know, you got to be able to tease it a little bit. Like, does it... What can you tease? The rings have opened up. There's an imminent gold rush. And what that does to the balance of power in the system, in the macro sense, is completely change the entire chessboard. And all this tension starts to build in the macro and in the personal sense everywhere. Um, and it just changes everything. And, and some of us live. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And There's also, a tease. <laughs> you, you also see all of the characters go through very different transitions and journeys that we've never ever seen before. So that's all quite fresh and exciting. There's a lot of new characters that come in and then kind of change our characters' journeys in a way that, again, we've never seen before. Everyone plays into it. So it's um, not the same thing as what we've had for the past three seasons. There's a bit of that in there, but it's also something quite fresh and exciting. So. And it is a, it is a tonal shift. I mean, if you're a fan of the books, you know that book four has a very different kind of feel to it. And um, the show reflects that. It has a, a frontier kind of vibe. Um, what, what I will say is that um, you get to see the team working as a team like you've never seen them before. The Rossinanti uh, crew. The, the Rossinanti crew. And, and also, I mean, all, all of, all of the, the, the characters have come into their own and have started to own their space. And, and if we had encountered the kind of stuff that we have to deal with in season four, in season one or season two, we probably wouldn't have made it through. But because of the all the experiences that we've had over the past three seasons, we're able to deal with what we're confronted with. Like we wouldn't have been able to. Is there any difference in, was there any difference making the show under the Amazon umbrella versus making it over at Sci-Fi? The production itself uh, was very similar. You know, even when we were in limbo there for a minute, our crew waited for us, um, you know, almost for over a month. Um, so we kept continuity with the entire production team and Alcon uh, Entertainment Group, who produces the show and pays for the production, uh, has always remained really supportive. I think where the, the difference is, is in the formatting. Um, we don't have to hit 45 minutes every single episode. We have more leeway to do and show stuff than we have before. And, um, and the reach and support on the publicity side and distribution side yep. is very, very different and, um, and appreciated. And uh, they, Amazon really understands this show and, um, and is pushing it out there in a way that really reflects the passion that we have. And I will say that uh, the enthusiasm and the energy, because we've all been together, the cast, the crew, we, we, the original crew has been with us for five or six years, so the the ups and downs and the things that we went through this season coming on, there was a certain excitement that I that it felt like our first season in a lot of ways, and so um, and and us being thankful to have this opportunity to be able to tell this story that we all love so much and that we all rooted for so hard, and the fact that we all come together and do this, I think there was a certain. Uh, there's a certain chemistry that's definitely palpable and that you will see that as you watch season four. I want to get you involved in this a little bit. I'll ask you, Hi. how much, listen, this is going to be the fourth season, but how much is it, like, it's sort of, not a reboot, but it's a restart at a new network. It's a, re, a you know, at Amazon. Is there any sort of, at the beginning of season four, sort of like, I don't want to say catch up, but some sort of thing that allows, like, someone to just jump in on season four? Or do you recommend they start at the beginning? I think, we, we were talking before and we, th we feel like you could start at season four. I personally would probably start at season one just to get a, a, bit, a bit of backstory, but it really does shift season four and uh, it would be understandable to, be, to, be, to just start at season four without having to do it, but watch it all. Oh no, I agree. Watch it all. You, you should definitely start on season one, 100%. Um, do yourself the justice. 
Right, I have what we call, since I know you can't do spoilers, and I don't want you to ruin anything, what we call a few fun questions, and let's Yay. see how this goes. Um, who ruins the most takes? <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> Would you look at that? We have kind of an absurdly prepared group. We really do. Like, we, we've literally rehearsed every single episode from the first season of the first episode on our weekends, on our days off. Um, do you know who used to do that? Who? A big group on DS9, Star Trek DS9. Really? It's very weird that you do that as another, well, I don't want to say sci fi oh, show. Didn't know that. But, yeah. D, but the yeah. guys who played in the Ferengis. Really? They used to all get together on the weekends and practice a bunch of stuff. That's hilarious. <laughs> there we go. See? Quark and the gang. I would. I will say that we are a really prepared bunch, but we do also have a lot of fun. I mean, you know, we've in, in fun comes from being prepared. So uh, we do we we do joke around with each other on set and have a good time with it. But when it's time, we it's all time. we're in the zone and we bring our A game. Who is paying all of you guys five dollars to cover up that they mess up every take? I, see, I don't like to call it messing up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's exposing I, think that's I like to call it. I like to call it organic evolution and growth. I think this is telling. And, <laughs> I'm and sure authentic representation out. in the moment. That's that's sure, that's, that's what honey. I like to call it. Sure. Um, yeah, I think that would be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Five dollars right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, who is the one that always gets it in one? Oh. Is that uh, dead they, serious? They call it one take, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it all the time, but I can. Well, Steven. <laughs> Steven, Steven's a bit of a one or two. Oh, Steve, Steve's another good one. One. Uh, how? This, actually, this is not one of the fun questions. I'm actually, this is, I'm genuinely curious. How many of the ten scripts you guys are doing ten episodes? How many of the ten scripts did you have before starting to film episode one? They don't give us Just one. anything. Just yeah. one. Wow. They, one Narain doesn't like to give us scripts that he isn't. He doesn't feel like totally done, or at least mostly done so we just get the or first just two give him to us too far in advance he likes us to yeah he just likes mm -hmm. us to focus on what we're doing at, at that time and and so we get a block uh at a time so, two, so episodes. two episodes he likes us to sit with anxiety and tension and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm for all for all of you do you guys how do you and i'm gonna try to be brief since i'm gonna run out of time but how do you typically like to learn your lines do you have like a thing? Is it hard for you to remember lines? I'm just curious about everyone. I've been acting, asking this of everyone recently. What's your like prac? What's your thing for learning lines? Um, I actually d don't like to learn my. I I will learn them, but I also like to leave them a little unknown because I like to leave room for what I'm going to get back. And sometimes I feel like if I know them that well, I'm going to be set into what the scene is before I'm in front of the other person. So I, as the season goes on, I get quicker at picking it up. I can just read it a few times and I'm like, okay, I've got that. And then I'll try and like leave a little room for like just seeing what happens. Uh, just in terms of the technical kind of yeah. memorizing lines, I might, I do it auditorily. So like I will read it out to myself out loud over and over and over again. I know people in the, I, I've known a lot of actors who write it out and that works for them. It doesn't work for me. I have to hear it. So I hear it and hear it and hear it. And after a few times, I got it in my head. I'll read it a few times. I just really like to know like what the intention of for Bobby is. And then usually once I understand like what she's trying to achieve in the scene, I'll just learn the actual words over and over and then get on set and have a good play. See how it goes. And, and in one take. Yes. <laughs> I have uh, like once I've done the work and it's time just to kind of get the words down, I have a, uh, a, a, for whatever reason, the best way for me to get the lines in my head is I have to walk and talk. Walk and and so I usually, I, I, me. And I usually drag <laughs> him along or my poor wife. And, uh, and so basically like, she, we, we, they've seen us walk around the neighborhood many, many, my, or my neighborhood many, many times because I need to walk and, and, and just, and listen and talk because I find that if I'm walking and I'm, you're seeing people drive by, you're seeing people walk by, people looking at you like you're a weirdo, and you're not getting locked in anything. But the listening and, and and going back and forth, there's something about that that 
occupying this, the conscious mind with walking and doing something else that the words just seep in. in oh my way. God, how freaky. Your neighbors must be so freaked out being like, <laughs> holy moly, um, that's Amos. That's not me, Wes. Me, you, me, you, me and Kaz did a love scene a couple times. <laughs> usually, usually when I get on break and I see him coming at me, I'm like running away because he's going to grab me and we're going to be walking like a mile and a half around the studio <laughs> I, I on my break. walk around the studio. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man. But uh, me and uh, Wes kind of share that. I'm. Uh, it was very interesting actually. You guys are auditory and she's kind of like internal and we're physical i have to physically act it out like um i i get most comfortable when i'm on the set and i'm actually blocking everything out and i know which thoughts are coming when and i get it physically into my body and that's when when they lock in so that's unfortunate for for some of the actors i'm working with unfortunately <laughs> I, I loved all these answers actually um every time for most for most shows when you get a new season you get like a new sound stage or a new set like that's the kind of the thing so was there a new sound stage this year or a new set that you were super excited to work on well we we this is the first season we really shot extensively outside and um there is there was this beautiful set uh that was built in this quarry outside of toronto um and that was an amazing experience for us. It was a new experience for us as a production. Um, Illis. Or New Terror or whatever. Illis. <laughs> and all of this will make sense at some point this season. Well, I think, I think it has to do with the, the exploration of where you're going. Indeed. Yes. Indeed, yeah. Um, I guess before I run out of time, um, do you... I don't, obviously, there's no... I don't want to do any spoilers. I want to reiterate that one more time. But do you feel that it... God willing, you guys are going to get another year... But sort of like, how does it, like, without getting into any spoilers, does the finale leave it, you know, how do you sort of, are fans going to... I just like actually have to remember what the finale you was. See when you watch it in December. Just, so I like see, teases. It's still in the, the no, it's still in the nature of Morgan's how gonna kill me. we always By the way, that's Morgan seasons. from Amazon. <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> I'm She's Morgan. literally going to kill me though. for that question. I answer. feel like good writing does both. It's all good. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, it could do this or it could just close the it's door. It's the nature of how we leave That's, every And we have great writers. End of every season. Listen, I need you to have another season, so I well, will petition Jeff whatever I need to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do That's your part. Do. But look, there's, there's, there's eight, there's eight the novels answer. written. Nine. Right? That's my point. There will be nine. nine. So if, if we're following the path of the novels, then there's probably some material left to be discovered listen the greatest thing is that jeff's a sci-fi guy and that's what we're and talking about. um my biggest thing is does jeff watch the show because i heard he has at least five dollars to spend on television yeah. and if he does he does watch the show and that's all that matters we have a whole team at amazon that are <laughs> fully fully behind the show yeah um we're appreciative that our jeff's a fan yeah. but our, our amazon team has been absolutely <laughs> spectacular oh, I got, sorry i gotta wrap up with you guys that's why she's so mad at we me. love our it amazon question, team. but it was actually that i'm out of, out of time and she's gonna fucking kill me <laughs> listen i love you guys' show i Thank cannot you. wait to see it in december i believe it's december 13th it is and um, be there or be circle yeah and i, I can't wait to have seen it and then talk again thank you so much for coming by thank for you. real thanks for having us